Hey everybody, it's me, Megan, and this tutorial is going to be the lighter brow tutorial that was requested from my previous eyebrow tutorial where I showed you guys how I achieved a very, um, more so of a very bold eyebrow when I want to wear a really full face of makeup. Now these eyebrows that you guys see right now are more so like an everyday brow or just a brow that I put on when I just want to wear my eyebrows and very light makeup. So if you are interested in checking out this tutorial, Stay tuned. So we're going to take a spoolie and I'm going to brush my brows. Now place. I'm going to use my angled brush that I bought from eBay a few years back. But you can use any angled brush that you prefer. And the shadow that I'm going to fill my eyebrows in is going to be a brown eyeshadow. You can use whatever brown eyeshadow of your preference. It doesn't matter. Um, but the shadow that I am going to use is by MAC and it is Espresso. So I personally like to start towards the front but not the very front because we don't want that box shape again. So I'm going to just kind of just shade in my natural arch. And then as you're filling in, you would just fill in the, you know, sparse areas while creating the desired thickness of your choice. But I'm still sticking to um, the very natural shape of my arch. I'm not doing too much overextending or over shading in above my natural um, eyebrow line. So um, I am what I'm doing. I'm in, I am slightly overdrawing my tail. Uh, just because my tail is naturally a little thin so I want to make that a little thicker looking so that's what I did right here but without adding any more um, product to the brush I'm gonna kind of slightly um, go down near towards my nose here like that to create kind of a high arch look like I did in my last tutorial if you have not seen that I briefly discussed that if you bring your brow a little uh, down a little further towards your nose it gives the appearance that you have a really high arch or a higher arch without tweezing your own eyebrow hairs to create that arch so I'm just gonna start right here and bring it down a little bit like that and then just fill in shade in and back and forth to you know create somewhat of an even shade like that now I'm going to take my spoolie again and just blend out everything especially this part right here the inner part where you don't want to have a real boxy look now to define my brow like the other one is just a clean up to give the appearance that I have really fresh tweezed or arched or waxed eyebrows I'm going to be taking uh, my MAC Studio Fix Fluid and my foundation color in that foundation is NC50 and this is what it looks like so you can use whatever you have or whatever your preference is but I like using the foundation on the top of my brow just to avoid having that ghostly look above the eyebrow when you use a lighter concealer so that's why I like using my foundation color above the brow and to do that I'm using my studio tools brush that I got from Target a few years ago Now that that's cleaned up the way I want it to, um, for underneath the brow to clean up that also I'm using my concealer which is MAC Studio Finish Concealer and the color that I am going to be using is NC45 
and it is a cream concealer. You can use whatever concealer of your choice in whatever brand. Now to blend out my under eye concealer that I just applied, I'm going to be using some MAC Fix Plus on my beauty blender. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it. And I'm just going to blend out underneath the brow. And the very last part to this, um, I personally don't really like this kind of harsh line underneath my brow, so what I like to do is I like to take my pinky finger and slightly erase that line right there with my finger. So it looked like that. So these are my finished eyebrows. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to comment below about that and I'll try to answer that for you. And a full product listing will be down in the description below as well if you want to check that out and see what products I use. But always remember you can use whatever products that you have and own to achieve the same or very similar look. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.